Hey, Viking fans, is Brian Flores out as our defensive coordinator? Is he going to take a head coaching job in the offseason? Let's talk about that next in three, two, one. <laughs> Gather around, Skull Brothers and Sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook at Skull World. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, leave a comment. Make sure you tell me what you think about Brian Flores. Put it in the comments. I want to hear about it. Now, let's get started. Let's talk about Brian Flores. So, my thoughts uh, before the season is he didn't take particular... Um, particular head coach jobs because he didn't find them appealing. That would have been a, a good fit. And that would have probably been the, the uh, Arizona Cardinals deal. Uh, but he was finalist, right? So if people are looking at him. They're going to see how he did this year. And all things were looking up until about three weeks ago when that defense has taken a nosedive. I don't know what happened, but we're going to, we're going to read a, an article about, him potentially going to a, a team, and then I'm going to give my thoughts on it. So let's get started. Let's talk about Brian Flores and his potential um, job with the with the uh, New England Patriots. Vikings rumors Brian Flores is a candidate to replace legendary NFL head coach. This is by Adam Patrick. One of the most intriguing recent Minnesota Vikings rumors involves the team's current defensive coordinator, Brian Flores, potentially filling a possible 2024 head coach opening. Before we know it, the 2024 NFL season will be here, and there will be a heavy increase in the number of Minnesota Vikings rumors circ around, circ circulating around each day. One of the most recent Vikings rumors centers around the team's current defensive coordinator, Brian Flores, and franchise that could potentially hire him to be their next head coach for the 2024 season. In a recent write-up, the NFL media insider Ian Rappaport, Flores is mentioned as someone who can not be ruled out as the next head coach of the New England Patriots. If the team decides to move on from longtime head coach Bill Belichick after the 2023 season, could um, so you know, hey, why not? He was there for what eight years or something. They want to, you know, he was the pseudo defensive coordinator, not he did not have that title. Uh, won the Super Bowl with him as a D coordinator, it was a pretty good defense. Uh, and then he goes on to Miami, he has one good, really good defense out of three. Two were mediocre. Comes here, looks like he turns us around. Well, he goes to, you know, he goes to a, a different. He goes to the Steelers, the linebacker coach, and then he comes to us. And it looks like he's turned us around. Then three weeks ago happened. Not so much anymore. Did Brian Flores leave the Minnesota Vikings for the New England Patriots? Rapoport linking Flores to the Patriots shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. New England, New England is where he, the current Minnesota defense coordinator got his start. At, as a coach in the NFL, with Belichick added him to his staff as a special teams assistant in 2008, Flores ended up having a number of different roles with the Patriots from 2008 to 2018 until he was hired to be the head of the coach of the Miami Dolphins in 2019. After three seasons, Flores was let go by the Dolphins and he eventually landed a job on Mike Tomlin's staff with the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2022. When the Vikings fired Ed Donaldson back in January, they selected Flores to be their new defensive coordinator and he's been in the Twin Cities ever since, yeah, a whole year. Based on the existence, uh, extensive past with the Patriots, his head coaching experience in Miami, and his success with Minnesota this season, Flores taking over as New England's head coach in 2024, if Bill Belichick's tenure comes to an end, he's very possible. Now, there was, uh, I think Mayo was uh, listed as like, or talked about being the heir apparent by Kraft, the, the owner of the Patriots. So honestly, I feel like this one this one's a long shot. Um, not a long shot, a medium shot. Uh yeah, history there. Bill Belichick is a defensive coach. You know, he was in 1988, uh, you know, the the Giants, he was the D coordinator, they carried him off the field. Not so that defense won that, you know, defense that year was awesome. Uh had LT on it. So, you know, that that was him. That was him. He was a defensive coach. His defenses of the Patriots have always been pretty decent. Um, but do 
is after Brady left, the quarterback situation, the the way they've handled you know, Belichick has handled the quarterback since then has not been good, right? Now look at the fact that Brian Flores' history in Miami, his dealings with Tua was not good either. He wanted to get rid of him. Uh, he, he didn't want anything to do with him. There was just turbulation in that in that team of him basically trying to get rid of his young starting uh, quarterback. So he did not handle that well. Do you want to bring Brian Flores to New England to be the head coach and have the same issues he had in Miami that Bill Belichick is having currently in New England? Do you want to double down on that? So I don't think he's going back to the Patriots. Um, one, I think Robert Kraft has the uh, is basically after his his scandal he had down here in uh, Florida massage parlors. I don't think he's wanting to cross the uh, the commissioner and hire Flores, who is suing the NFL. Or I don't know if that suit's ever been finished, but he sued the NFL. I think uh, Carter's a is a shield defend the shield at all costs guy right now. I don't think he wants uh, to piss off the commissioner uh, after he let him keep his franchise. <laughs> So no, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think. Well, you know, it has to be voted on by the by the uh, owners. But really, they gave that they gave the commissioner way too much power. Uh, but I don't think Kraft wants to piss off anybody, and that might piss off people that he hires as the head coach of the the guy that suing the NFL. That is the. So here's my thoughts. There's definitely a chance that Flores will be back with us, and it's a couple reasons, and that. Is he wants to find the right team, um, but that changed a little bit because now his defense has been absolutely awful the last three games. I don't necessarily blame it all on him. There's some individual effort of lack of tackling that I don't blame Flores for, but there are times where, you know, this last game, I looked like watching Ed Donatel's defense. It did. It It's crazy. It was a Scooby-Doo reveal. Uh, Donatel appeared in that game, and that was our defense. That, that was not individual effort. Yeah, well, there was individual effort in there, but, oh, my gosh, that was just bad defense. And Brian Flores is the orchestrator of that. We lost our – and not to, the offense was terrible too, but but I'm talking about defense today, and Flores did not put out a good effort in this last game. So if he has an opportunity now, I think he takes it. I actually reserve the fact that he would take the right job. He wouldn't take any job. Now, because of the way his defense played the last three weeks, I think he would take any job now. I think he would have taken the Cardinals job. So, yeah, um, I think things have changed because of the way his defense have played. Now, uh, most of the playoff teams have offensive coordinator history as head coach. Um, so that is also a trend, a, a likely trend. You want because offensive coordinators tend to move around a lot more, and and if you do get a defensive, you know, a head coach, then your offense might change from year to year, and that's a problem, I think. And we've kind of experienced that as Vikings fans. So hiring a defensive head coach, you might as well have a carousel of offensive coordinators, and that's kind of a problem. I like the offensive head coach, and then the defensive guy comes in; he's less likely to leave for a head coach job. We got that. So there's still hope that Brian Flores will come back. Now, do we want him? Um, I want to see a second year with better talent. I would I would love to see a better year with second talent. So let's go into the draft. Let's get him to free agency. Surround him with, with better talent. Um, was this his scheme? Uh, was this the talent he wanted to fill his scheme? He did the best he could with it. Um, we found out... Uh, the interior D line is not the greatest. Uh, we need a, you know, we need uh, a playmaker there. Our cornerbacks, not so great uh, as of recently. So is there talent there? Is there an opportunity that someone might step up, a Booth Jr. or something like that to come, you know, to fulfill his destiny like I thought he was going to be? Yeah, there's opportunity there. But Brian Flores has got to get that out of him. I hope this next game they play it. 
Lewis seen, they play Boo Jr., they play all the young guys to find out what they have in them, give them an opportunity, go into next year and see, hey, we do have this. We just need to fill in these couple of spaces. And for me, it's, well, we need probably linebacker depth. Uh, we we probably need uh, a better defensive interior or maybe a recent sign of Daniel Hunt, D- Daniel Hunter and, uh, and DJ Wanham, uh, unfortunate injury there. So maybe we do those things and he, and we just have to fill in a couple of spots. I feel like our offense is taken care of. I wouldn't mind a upgrade in interior offensive line, but that offense is, if we bring a, you know, Kirk Cousins back is firing all cylinders uh, or if we go the rookie route, hopefully we get the right guy and uh, he takes off running in his first year because our defense cannot handle right now, cannot handle um, playing with a rookie. You can't. It, and then your defense is going to get frustrated at your offense. So it's going to be a hard freaking year unless we get a rookie that's good out of the gate. So I think the Vikings are leaning towards Kirk Cousins if the if it makes sense monetarily or more length not monetary is not the big deal the length is probably the bigger deal and the guarantee and the injury is probably the the deal so if that happens we're looking at bringing our offense back and improving this defense maybe drafting a quarterback pro i say probably drafting a quarterback so a lot of good things uh or a lot of interesting things in this offseason for us to talk about so stick with me skull vikings cue the music <laughs> 